today the confidence myth. How you don't really have to feel ready to get things done. I think this was a really interesting realisation that I had a little while ago when I, I sort of did a week-long live exploration of confidence. And the conclusion I came to at the end of it was that it doesn't actually exist. So let me tell you a little bit more about that, because that's probably blown your mind anyway, that confidence doesn't really exist. But the way confidence is spoken about in society, isn't it, that it's something we've got to find. So the language is all around, you know, feeling confident, growing our confidence, building our confidence, that we can have lost our confidence. That's another thing, isn't it, that we're often told you can lose your confidence. And in actual fact, it's it sort of it's all back to front, really, because in actual fact, when we say we want to feel confident about doing something or just feel confident in general, what we actually mean is we don't want to feel discomfort because our natural state is creativity. It is action taking. It is doing things in the world that that's that's who we naturally are but some of the time we we feel stuck and we can't do things and we call that not having not having confidence so let me tell you a little bit more about how that's really working in our sort of system as we're going through our daily life so when we consider doing something so let's just say doing a live video it's a great one isn't it because i know so many business owners who literally would never do this, like would never just switch on their computer, go onto Facebook and st start delivering a live video or go onto any platform of any description and start just delivering a video live. Um, and you might be watching this later on as it will be appearing on YouTube also. But, it, you, you know, I, I've recorded it live because I, I find it's just a good way to, to get it done and not get too caught up in editing and all that kind of stuff. I just can't be doing that now. I was in exactly that same position not so many years ago when I would have been literally probably would have been throwing up <laughs> in the corner rather than sitting here doing this. Because when I thought about doing a live video, my the bodily sensations were really uncomfortable and I would have called that not feeling confident. I don't feel confident enough to do a live video. Now, what that actually means is that there's some real discomfort in my body that feels horrible. Plus, there's probably some really awful thinking going on about me, generally about me, maybe a little bit about other people, but generally about what they're going to think about me. So there's fear of judgment. There's thinking I'm, I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm going to say something wrong. I'm going to sound like an idiot. I'm going to lose my, you know, lose my train of thought in the middle of a sentence, which <laughs> to be fair, could well still happen on this video. That's always a possibility for me. Uh, so there'll be all this thinking, you know, we might call that inner critic, imposter syndrome, perfectionism, all these different things, fear of judgment, all that would be going on. And that would, I, 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 it just felt to me at that time, and I'm sure you can relate to this, that there was no way on this planet I could move forward with that action of doing a live video or doing any kind of video with that discomfort on board it just felt too uncomfortable it felt too difficult it felt too hard it just didn't feel like something i could actually do now the thing is that i guess what what i wanted at that time and maybe you can relate to this also is is to just feel nice like that <laughs> and, and and who of course as a human being we have a propensity to want to feel good and if we think that the thing we're about to do is making us feel bad, then of course we're going to avoid it like the plague. Because we're, we're always, as human beings, trying to resolve our emotions, aren't we? That's kind of the thing we do. And, and so when we consider doing the live video and then all this stuff comes up, the, the horrible thoughts and the horrible feeling in the body, we don't do the live video because we say, and then we say, I don't feel confident enough to do that. What we actually mean is when I think about doing that, not not the activity itself, that is not the cause. When I think about doing that thing, 
it, it's just too much for my system. I, I can't, I can't, it's too much. Understandably, completely understandably. Nobody wants to go into doing something feeling horrible in the body. Um, our body, you know, naturally wants to move us away from those things because, of course, fear of being judged, fear of being laughed at, fear of making a mistake, etc., feels like a real thing, just like being afraid of a saber-toothed tiger um, eating us back in the day. You know, we don't have saber-toothed tigers where I live. Perhaps you have them where you live, but they're not real. But back in the day, we would have been afraid of those. But now, don't really have saber-toothed tigers to be afraid of. So we, we tend to get caught up in the self, really, the self-preservation, trying to feel secure. We want to just feel secure all the time. And the minute we think about doing something, putting ourselves out there, etc., we suddenly don't feel secure, we feel afraid, and then we don't do the thing. So hopefully you can see now that I'm kind of turning the whole confidence concept on its head because what we say is, I want to get confident about this, I want to feel confident about this. What we actually mean is, we actually just mean I want to feel at peace when I do this thing. And if I don't feel at peace, I can't do the thing. Now, once you start to understand that your feelings aren't coming from the thing you're about to do, you become, just have a different perspective, really. You start to see it differently. So, for example, that might mean I contemplate doing a video and I notice there's a ramping up of discomfort in my body and and I, I I know now to pause and just just experience that but also the perspective shift has happened that now we can say oh no I, I, do, I, I know that feels uncomfortable but I also know that it's got nothing to do with what I'm about to do nothing at all and because this is a learning system that we have you know this system the mind body system as it's called um in the conversations that i have with you know with my teachers and, and with people that this mind body system is 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 learning all the time it never stops learning so as you do the thing and you know it turns out nothing actually happens to you you know you don't die there's <laughs> it's not it's not the end of the world it's all fine so when you do it your system sort of relaxes a bit and goes, oh, oh, actually, doing a live video like isn't really a thing. It's not a problem. It, it, I can do it. It's okay. And what's really cool about that is that the more you do it then, it eventually just becomes nothing. Like emotionally. Like the now when I come to do a live video, because I've been doing them very regularly for literally for four or five years now, when I come to do a live video now, it's like brushing my teeth. That's the level of emotional charge, right? Here's a thing I want to talk about. Let's get a title for that. Let's whack it on and let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just go live. It And it, it doesn't have that kind of charge on it anymore. You know, I don't think about it in the same way as I did near the beginning when I first, when I first was contemplating it and and upsetting myself with it really so so hopefully now you can see what i'm saying about confidence as a thing like it, it, a thing you can grow a thing you can lose a thing you can develop a thing it isn't act, it doesn't exist it doesn't exist what we want is to do things without feeling bad but the the bad news is folks that if you want to really move in your life and, and make create things and share your message and build a business or have, you know, have the things you really want to have or create the things or, sh you know, change the world, you are, it, you're going to sometimes feel uncomfortable because you are going to be putting yourself into positions that are not perhaps your, you know, they're not perhaps your, your, your normal way of being or perhaps, you know, something happened when you were a kid that's kind of put you off doing those kind of things. But none of that is a reflection of your capability right now. I love to say your thoughts and feelings don't know what you're capable of at all. They literally don't because they are grounded in your unconscious past and have nothing to do with 
the present moment right now and what you can actually do. There is nothing stopping anybody who has the technical equipment in front of them, a camera, a mic, access to a platform to record a video. Nobody cannot cannot do a video. Everybody can do that. Everybody can, who is everybody's physically capable, who can talk and who has a subject they want to talk about, can do a video. Literally anybody. Like, there's nothing actually physically stopping you from doing that. But of course your mind and your emotions will come in and say, Claire's talking nonsense. <laughs> Feel free to tell me if you think I'm talking nonsense. But this is just a completely different perspective. And I'm sharing this because I've just created an audio for my thriving, my gateway to thriving, my new thriving woman approach um, course that I've got a group of women on at the moment. And it just it just made sense to make a video about it because I haven't spoken about it for a while. And it, but it's something that is just so life changing. You know, don't spend hours trying to grow your confidence, build your confidence. Da, da, da. You'll just be at it forever and you might get some mini rewards, but you won't really you won't really change things. Not in the same way as you will by moving into the world and taking action. For me, more and more action, taking taking action, doing things is where the healing is really at. And um, it's powerful. It's really powerful. So hopefully that's been helpful um, and different. And you know where I am if you want to uh, discuss this further. So take care. Lots of love. Thank you for tuning in.